parties, no? Uh, peer pressure, drinking, and many more. So what happens is that sa mga achievement, ano bang achievement nung, nung nag-aral is makikita natin na nag-graduate, no? Makikita natin nun. Nagkakaroon sila ng, di ba sa Italy, ganyan po yung ginalagay sa mga nag-graduate? Pag may makita kang naglalakad sa daan na may nakaganyan, ibig sabihin naka-graduate na siya. So, uh, ayan, nakalagay sa ulo nila. Yan yung sign po dito sa Italy. Or sa Pilipinas, ayan, nakita natin, experience natin in the past, fulfilled dreams. Pero paano yung mga hindi nag-aral what happens to them? I want, hindi nare-reach yung goals nila or targets, no? So, uh, nalululong sila sa mga barkada. So, hindi nila na-reach ang kanilang, ano. So, tayo is, our target ngayon then is to worship. Our target is to worship. Our target is to have a prayerful life. Amen? That is our targets mo natin. So, uh, what happens if there are moments na you are depressed, di ba? Uh, hindi natin may iwasan. There are moments of depression. There are moments that you are lonely. No? Nandun yung anxiety. There are moments na nandun yung worriedness na, na experience ng iba sa atin. So, nandun ka sa point of decision. Doon ka sa point na, ang, anong gagawin ko? Anong gagawin ko? Uh, uh, will I go to God or will I go to myself? Sagdit lang siya. Okay. So, uh, nandyan sa situations po na yan. There are times or situations sa buhay natin na, na yun yung nangyayari, no? So, uh, now, uh, cause and effect, pag less prayer, we are far away from the Lord. More prayer, we are near to the Lord, no? So, if you want to, we read more of the scripture, ay uh, uh, napapalalim ang pagkakakilala po natin sa Panginoon. Amen. So, uh, trust in the Lord. So, uh, doon sa tiningnan po natin kanina na topic po natin that uh, sa so crossroad, ang topic tal natin is, that is an introduction, topic natin is trust in the Lord. Amen? So, we trust in the Lord. So, our responsibility of God's children to work live is day by faith and not by sight. For without faith, it is impossible for us to please the Lord. So, uh, katulad nga po na natanggap natin ang Panginoong Jesus bilang ating Diyos at tagapagligtas sa pamamagitan ng ating pananampalataya na ginawa po natin nung nakaraan as our eternal Savior. Even so, we are to walk and abide in Him through steadfastness of faith in Him, we shall obtain a good report. So, uh, sa Proverbs, uh, sa Proverbs na to, dito po sa titingnan po natin is, basahin po natin muli, tumiwala ka sa Panginoon ng buong puso mo at huwag kang manalig sa iyong sariling kaunawaan, kilalanin mo siya sa lahat ng iyong mga lakad at kanyang iturang iyong mga landas. Huwag kang magpakapantas sa iyong sariling mga mata, matakot ka sa Panginoon at humiwalay sa kasalanan. So, uh, the grace of God is demonstrated by the fact that He has a plan and purpose for our lives that He wants to reveal to us. So, my purpose po, ang Panginoon sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin, mayroon siyang path na designed especially for you, for me, and to everybody of us. No, So, uh, we uh, kailangan lang is that we move through life na big Ibigay natin yung lahat sa Panginoon. We give through life uh, giving God uh, our everything. So instead of wondering na uh, whether our life ay, uh, ay uh, magiging good ba or ano, uh, uh, ang i-choose po natin is, i-choose po natin na paniwalaan that the Lord has the best plan for our life. Amen. Uh, the lo Lord has the best plan for us. Discover po natin yung path na yun, and we will go on that at as soon as time possible. We will go on that path. So, uh, uh, if we fully trust God, if we if we don't fully trust God, ay magiging reluctant tayo. Hindi tayo at ease, no? Reluctant tayo to follow the path na ibinapagkalab niya sa atin. Kaya kailangan po is nandun yung uh, uh, matanggal yung fear, matanggal yung uncertainty, Amen. 
at nandun yung trust po natin sa Panginoon. Kaya nga sabi ng verse 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. So, ang command, may command po sa atin ng Panginoon, God commands us to trust Him. Diyan po sa verse 5. Yun po yung command niya, Trust is a strong belief in someone's integrity, ability, or character. So, this is the kind of confidence na kailangan magkaroon po tayo sa Panginoon. Amen? So, God commands us to trust Him. Then, whatever we say or require of us, alam po natin that certainty na ito po ay tama. Tama. So, anong mangyayari if we lack the trust? Kung kinokomand niya sa atin na kailangan natin ng trust, yan ang command sa atin, you put a trust, paano kapag uh, we lack the trust? So, ang ibig mangyayari po doon is hindi natin nafa-follow ang ninanais niya sa atin and we are living outside the will of God. no? Uh, pero, on the other hand, if nandun po na uh, we as, uh, nandun yung trust natin sa Kanya, if we be spent a lifetime trusting and obeying Him, matetestify natin that God will never let us down. Amen? So, uh, Another thing na titingnan po natin dito is that so nakita po natin God commands us to trust him and uh, ayan nandito pa rin <laughs> ayan trust a strong belief in someone's integrity ability and character it this is the kind of confidence na ininanais ng Panginoon para po sa atin amen so the basis for trust in God is his sovereignty pag sinasabi nating sovereignty nandoon yung supreme power or authority ng Panginoon nakikita po natin dito na he is the divine ruler over all things and all people at all time na his sovereignty sovereignty nandoon yung kanyang supreme power ay sa pamamagitan ng kanyang no his wisdom, power, and righteousness all wrapped into one. Amen. So, uh, mabilis lang po tayo. So, another thing. The degree to which we are to trust God is with all our heart. Sabi niya doon, no? With all our heart. So, uh, ang kailangan po natin dito is we put our total trust in the Lord. Pag sinasabi natin total is 100% ang trust. Kasi pag 99% ang trust natin, hindi pa siya total. ba? So, wholehearted trust. Ang nananais po ng Panginoon. So, we do what God says because we trust Him to guide us the right way. So, nandun po yung wholehearted trust natin sa Panginoon. Amen. So, um, so the unpo sa trust, trusting the Lord with all our heart is the opposite of doubt God and His Word. So, nandun na, if we trust the Lord, we believe in His Word. Amen. We believe in His Word. So, trust is fundamental to our relationship with God. Amen. It is based on the premise that He is trustworthy. Ang Panginoon ay trustworthy. Sininanais na na. Uh, tayo ay uh, mag uh, tayo ng trust sa kanya. In, amen. So another is to acknowledge someone. Tama ba ako? Saglit lang mo ka na. Nagiging mabilis kasi ako. Ayan. So um, ano lang natin to? Shortcut. So ayan po. So as God's children, we can be assured that our Heavenly Father loves us. And will faithfully care for us, di ba? So, uh, it is uh, our, uh, uh, yun po yung pinapanghawakan po natin. So, uh, uh, will faithfully care for us, guide us, uh, gives us grace and keeps His promises na in the most difficult time of our life, nung final, doon tayo sa crossroad, we can commit our way to the Lord. We trust Him and uh, He will uh, to walk in our behalf. So, uh, uh, nakita po natin na na kailangan po na really, may we put our 100% uh, uh, trust in the Lord. The wholehearted trust in the Lord. So, uh, Solomon, Solomon reminds his son sa verse 5. Sabi nga niya doon na, do not uh, lean on your own understanding. So, uh, Alam natin ang Proverbs is written by King uh, Solomon. So it reminds his son that your own understanding is not enough. 
to support the weight of life. So, minsan, ang own understanding natin ng uh, uh, if we uh, mag-trust tayo dun sa own understanding natin ay, ay uh, hindi kaya, hindi kaya na uh, isupport niya yung mga situation sa buhay. Bakit? Uh, sinasabi na do not lean on your own understanding dahil your own understanding it will break. Your own understanding, it will fail you, no? Uh, so, uh, kaya kailangan po na uh, be not wise on your own eyes, no? So, we trust in the Lord. So, dito po, to acknowledge someone is to recognize him. So, verse 6 na sinasabi niya dito, In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. So, yung ang ibig pong sabihin dito ay... Uh, to acknowledge Him is to recognize Him. Uh, when we acknowledge God, we're not merely admitting that He admitting, di lang natin ina-admit na exist Siya, but uh, confirm natin na Siya ang ating Panginoon. Amen. He is a Lord in who has authority over us and the right to give us direction in every area of our life. So, nandun po yung right direction in every area of our life. So, nung ibig sabihin, makakita natin keyword doon. So, nandun po yung submission. Amen. So, uh, he means in everything you do, in every area of your life, of our life, look to God as our authoritative expert. Amen. So, uh, nandun po yung trust natin. Nandun yung surrender natin doon po sa kalooban po ng Panginoon. Amen. So, uh, He will make your path straight. He will make your path straight. So, uh, sa verse 6b, ang makikita po natin doon, when we follow the Lord's guidance, ay nandun po yung protection na bibigay sa atin ng Panginoon. Uh, protection from side roads and eliminates obstacles and confusion along the way. Amen. So, uh, makita po natin the right path is the one with obedience. Obedience natin sa Panginoon. Obedience po natin sa kanyang mga salita. Amen. So, uh, uh, sa verse 7 ay sinasabihan tayo dito na do not be wise in your own eyes. So, uh, uh, mayroon po tayong uh, ano tweet dito. Mayroon po tayong uh, supporting verse sa uh, Proverbs 26.12. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. So, uh, ay, so makikita po natin dyan na uh, do not be wise in your own eyes. So, uh, kailangan po natin na whenever we choose our way, instead of trusting the Lord, we are playing the fool because one day we are going to stand before God and give an account of how we live. But if we're wise, sabi niya kasi, do not, uh, uh, do not wise be wise in your own eyes. But if you were wise, you will seek the Lord, listen to His directions, and trust Him. So, sabi nga dito, dahil di ba, uh, He is the God who don't lie. So, we know that He will always keep His promise, and whatever He says is true. Amen. Ano man ang kanyang sinasabi ay iyon po yung totoo. And then, the last uh, Part natin na makikita po natin, binaybay lang po natin ang ating mga verses, ay uh, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Sa so verse 7b, uh, di ba sabi ng uh, verse 7, Do not be wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord, and turn away from he evil. This fear is, the, itong fear na sinasabi po dito, ay uh, a proper respect and reverence uh, for genuine authority. To fear God is to recognize and honor Him, not only the sovereign ruler of the universe, but the Lord and the master of our life. Amen. So, nakita uh, po natin, ay, uh, it's the kind of respect and reverence that leads to rule. Keep, uh, I'm sure those who grew up in the healthy household can confirm a healthy fear of mom and dad while at the same time never doubting their love for us. So, uh, uh, it is a very short uh, verse, verses. It is, uh, I memorized po natin dahil napakaganda po nung verse na to, uh, Proverbs 3, 5, 
to 6, idagdag na po natin ang 7, ay, uh, ay makikita po natin, nakita po natin ngayong hapon na itong gabi na to, uh, nakita po natin that uh, the grace of God is demonstrated by the fact that He has a plan in purpose for our life because He wants to reveal to us that God commands us to trust Him, that the basis for trust in God is His sovereignty. Amen. The degree to which we are to trust God is with all our heart. We trust the Lord with all our heart. Amen. That to acknowledge someone is to recognize Him. Sabi na, we acknowledge Him. He will make your our path straight. And do not, do not be wise in our own eyes, but fear the Lord in turn away from evil. So what is our response? So uh, may mga questions po ako dito. In what area of your life do you have the most difficulty in trusting God? Does knowing God is sovereign over all the events in your life help you to trust Him? How well do you know the Lord? Since the scripture is God's self-revelation, what do you need to do to increase your trust in Him? Amen. So, uh, ayun po, we hold tightly to the word of God. We will remain on the path to eternal life. Amen. So, eternal life. We had, this is our, ito po yung ating ninanais na magkaroon po tayo ng buhay na walang hanggan. Amen. At uh, patuloy po na ito po yung, uh, bakit ba tayo kailangan maging mabuti? Alam naman natin na ang biyaya ay isang libreng regalo, ay ito po ay bilang pasasalamat po natin sa Panginoon. Ang, ang buhay na sumusunod sa Kanya, ang nabubuhay ng mabuti, is bilang pasasalamat po natin sa Panginoon. Amen? If uh, may mga prayer request po tayo, uh, pwede po nating uh, ilagay po sa chat box. Amen. At isama po natin sa panalangin. At we have five minutes to pray. Amen. At tignan po natin ang chat box. Error, meron tayong... Meron po prayer request? Meron po? Okay po. If wala po, tayo po ay manalangin. So, uh, naka-off po Sir Ed yata yung chat box. If you have a prayer request, pwede po natin... Uh, is lagay po sa chat box. Okay. Recording stopped. So tayo po yung manalangin. Wow! Praise God, Pastora. New car. Pangalan si Sir Pauline. Okay. So, uh, uh, if ever man po meron pong uh, unang beses pa po naka, nakasama po sa ating Bible study. So, uh, tunay po na tunay po na pinapagkalob po ng Panginoon itong pagkakataon na to na tayo po ay magsama-sama, nakikinig po ng salita ng Panginoon, even in the short of 30 minutes po na bago po tayo magpasimula sa ating mga tutorials, is we will gonna use this precious time na mag-aral po tayo ng salita ng Panginoon. So, if ever some of you ay uh, uh, na, nandito na last time, yung iba ay bago, ay napahalaga po na sa ating pagdalo sa mga gawain, ay natitiyak natin kung saan tayo patungo at uh, uh, saan tayo patungo pagdating ng panahon. Amen. So nabanggit po natin nung nakaraan na ang lahit ay isang libreng regalo na ito ay, uh, ay uh, makakamit natin sa pamamagitan ng um, ito ay kaloob ng Diyos sa atin. Kaloob po ito ng Panginoon. Kailan ang tao ay makasalanan, ba't tayo nagpapasalamat uh, Ang tao ay makasalan at hindi niya kayang iligtas ang kanyang sarili. Nagpapasalamat tayo at uh, sa Panginoong Jesus ay nandyan siya na mapagmahal at makatarungan. Pero dahil uh, uh, sa imbalansi na to ay pinagkalob niya kanyang bugtong na anak na si Jesus. Namatay siya sa krus para sa ating mga kasalanan at nasa langit siya ngayon na ihanda ang ating uh, um, kalalagyan. And uh, makakamit natin ang regalong ito sa mapamagitan ng isang susi at sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. So kung mayroon po sa inyo na hindi pa po uh, tumatanggap, ay uh, nais nyo, nyo po bang tanggapin ang isang in regalong ito, regalong ito ng Panginoon. Is kailangan po natin nagkaroon po tayo ng pananampalataya na nakapagliligtas, yun ay pagtitiwala natin sa ating Panginoong Jesus na nagbibigay sa atin ng, um, nagbibigay sa atin ng um, salvation. 
pala ng kaligtasan. Amen. So, uh, kailangan lang po natin gawin is, of course, tayo po ay uh, uh, talikuran ng ating mga kasalanan, tanggapin si Jesus bilang ating Panginoon, Jesu, Panginoon at tanggapin siya bilang ating tagapagligtas. So, if ever meron po si inyo, ngayon, tayo po ay uh, sundin niyo po ang panalangin ito. Panginoon Jesus, uh, Nais kong pumasok ka sa puso ko at uh, pamahalaan mo ang buong buhay ko ngayon. Inaamin kong uh, makasalanan ako, matagal nang pinagkakatiwalaan ko ang aking sarili at ang mabubuti kong gawa, subalit ikaw nang ipinagkakatiwalaan ko ngayon. Tinatanggap kita bilang aking Diyos at tagapagligtas ng buhay ko. Naniniwala ako nga, a- ako nga namatay ka alang-alang sa akin. Tinatanggap kita binang Panginoon ng aking buhay. Isulat mo po ang aking pangalan sa aklat ng buhay. Tulungan mo po ako makalayo sa mga kasalanan ko at sumunod sa inyo. Tinatanggap ko ang libreng regalo nito na buhay na walang hanggan. Hindi ako narapat dapat, karap, nararapat tumanggap nito. Subalit pinasasalamatan kita dahil ipinagkalob mo ito sa akin. Amen. If ever uh, tinanggap mo po ang pinag, pinasumunod ka sa panalangin, ay uh, welcome po kayo sa pamilya ng Panginoon. Amen? So, narinig mo po, Panginoon, ang panalangin. At patuloy po, Panginoon, ipagkalaw mo, Panginoon, ang banal na espiritu sa sino man po nalalangin po ngayong gabi for the first time, Panginoon. Ikalog mo po, Panginoon, ang katiyakan, Panginoon, ng buhay na walang hanggan. Ipagkalog mo po, Panginoon, ang katiyakan at kapataw- ng katapaw- kapatawaran ng kanyang mga kasalanan. At, Panginoon, patuloy po, Panginoon, na gabayan mo siya, Panginoon. At patuloy po, Panginoon, na ingatan mo siya, Panginoon, at patuloy siyang magtiwala sa iyo. Patuloy siya, Panginoon. Na ingatan mo siya, Panginoon, ang kanyang buhay, sampo ng kanyang pamilya. And yes, Lord, we are thankful, Father, for tonight, Lord. Tunay po, Panginoon, that we trust in you, Lord. We trust in you, our life, and we trust in you, our everything, O oh God. Ayon pong pinapanalangin po, Panginoon, ang bawat isang nandito nakapakinig po, Panginoon, ng uh, iyong mga salita, O oh Lord, ay patuloy po, Panginoon, na gabayan niyo po, ang bawat isa po sa amin, O oh God. Bless every family being represented by us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Ang pong pinapanalangin po, Panginoon, ang, uh, ang bawat uh, your request po namin, Yes, O oh Lord, we are. you are a God who is more than enough for us, Lord. Ay pinapanilangin ang new car, seven-seaters po ng Pastora Marites, Lord. Alam po namin po, Panginoon, this desire, Lord, it is not a personal desire, but it is um, a desire po, Panginoon, na magkakamit sa inyong mga gawain, Lord, sa pagsamba po, Panginoon, sa bawat gawain mo po, Panginoon. Ay patuloy po, Panginoon, that we pray that you grant the desire, Lord, Lord, as you have put in the hearts of Pastora Marites, Lord, patuloy po, Panginoon, ay pagkalob mong provision, provision after provision, Lord, ang ipagkalob mo po, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Maging po, Panginoon, ang kagalingan po, Kapanginoon, kay uh, Sister Benita Umale, ang mother dear ng Sister Pauline. Yes, Lord, um, Panginoon, uh, kayo magbigay ng kagalingan from COVID, Lord. Na siya man ay uh, nasa sitwasyon po ngayon at uh, patuloy po, Panginoon, na pakaingatan mo siya, Lord. We pray for divine um, divine healing that come it from you, Lord. Pagkalaw mo po, Panginoon, doon sa nanay ng aming sister Pauline, O oh God, ay patuloy po, Panginoon, na bigyan mo siya ng kalakasan sa bawat araw, Lord. Patuloy na ingatan mo siya, Panginoon. Renew her strength every day, Lord. Uh, patuloy po, Panginoon, na pagpalain mo, Lord, ang kanyang, ang kanyang buhay, O Lord. Whatever age meron siya, Panginoon, kayo bang bigay ng kalakasan, kagalingan, sampo ng kanyang pamilya sa Pilipinas. And we pray for knowledge and wisdom kay Sister Mary Joy Prog sa kanyang dadating po, Panginoon, na exam. 
Yes, Lord, at tunay po, Panginoon, that knowledge and wisdom coming from you, maging po sa exams din po namin sa 29. Yes, O oh God, patuloy po, Panginoon, na uh, uh, we pray for photographic memory ang ipapagtulog mo, Panginoon, sa bawat pag-aaral po namin. Uh, we pray for concentration sa pag-aaral, O oh God, na ma-retain po, Panginoon, mga inaaral po namin, uh, inaaral po ni Mary Joy, and we pray for... Uh, Uh, for high school grades, we pray for high scores ng kanyang pag-aaral. And we are thankful sa kanyang, uh, the, sa kanyang uh, willingness to study, Lord. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa kanyang buhay. And we pray, Father God, that uh, um, uh, knowledge and wisdom be upon Mary Choi. Dalangin po namin ang uh, Sir Westy po, Panginoon sa kanyang pag-uwi sa Pilipinas, you know, every plans na meron po siya, Panginoon. You have birthed many plans in his heart, oh God. Hindi lang po personal plans, but uh, uh, plans for the team, oh Lord. Plan to start businesses. Plans to uh, uh, open up the business permits and have businesses, Lord, sa Pilipinas. And as you have uh, birthed that the uh, Visions in his heart, Lord, and we pray, Father, for uh, provision. We pray, Father God, for more knowledge and wisdom. Pagalaw mo po sa kanya, Panginoon. We pray for open doors, O oh God. We pray for the right people, the right person na makakasama po, Panginoon, sa, uh, aning, uh, sa mga businesses po, Panginoon, na nasa uh, planning, O oh God. Alam po namin po, Panginoon, na uh, it will benefits, Lord, OFWs. It will benefits our Philippines, Lord God. It will benefits uh, uh, every one of us na makakasama sa mga businesses na to. And we are thankful uh, sa mga pinapagkalog mo po sa aming uh, ideas and many things. And uh, we pray for, from Sister Juliet Binalay, wisdom po para maka-decide. Whatever to decide, Lord, you know her heart's desire, Lord God. And uh, teach her, Lord, in what decision to make. Nilangin ko po, Panginoon, that every move she make, every step she take, Lord, will be in accordance to your will. Yes, Lord, we pray for Team Europe. We pray for the business of crowd one, Lord. Maraming salamat for bringing us all together in this in this business, Panginoon. At uh, we are coming from different backgrounds. We come from different locations, from different parts of the world. Dinala mo po kami dito po, Panginoon, to know each other. And we pray, Father God, na it's not just... Uh, uh, We, we are thankful for the good relationships ng bawat members, Lord. We pray for Sir Eddie as the director uh, or as the zero one ng Team Europe together with the rest of the directors ng Team Europe, Panginoon. Continue, Father, to bless their leadership at patuloy po, Panginoon, na tumatag lalo po ang aning team at patuloy po, Panginoon, na bigay mo po, Panginoon, ng uh, uh, more belief po namin sa company and more belief po namin sa products and services A more belief po namin sa aming mga sarili po, Panginoon, that we're gonna do it, Lord, that we will gonna be talking to the right people, that we will gonna be talking to the right people na makakasama po namin, Panginoon, sa business na to. We pray for wisdom, Lord, sa mga inaaral po namin, sa Planet IX, O oh God. Uh, there are mo, alam po namin na tunay po, Panginoon, that you're amazing, na tunay ng dami po itinuturo sa bawat isa po sa amin. Wala po kaming kakayahang makala, malaman ng lahat ng ito, Panginoon. But we are thankful, Father, for you are there with us. We are thankful for the wisdom that came from you, Lord. For you, the fear of our Lord Jesus is the beginning of wisdom. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, at uh, Panginoon, patuloy namin nilalapit po, Panginoon, ang uh, mother po ng Sister Lenilin na si Eugenia Lozano at ang brother po niya na si Edgar Lozano na may sakit po sila, Panginoon, may paa, may sakit sa pa. Yes, Lord, uh, tunay po, Panginoon, na kinikilala po namin that you are a great healer. Uh, you are... Uh, 
uh, you are our number one doctor po Panginoon for by your stripes we have been healed Lord kaya anuman po Panginoon karamdaman po namin na doon po yung pagtitiwala po namin sa inyo Panginoon God you are a great healer for us amin din po nilalapit po Panginoon ang Sir Anton ang Sir Paul at iba pa po pa namin uh, na kasamahan po Panginoon na nangangailangan ng kagalingan ang Ma Imelda Prog sa ubo Panginoon ang iba pa Panginoon na kinakatawan ng aming mga pamilya wherever they are in the world na may mga karamdaman po Panginoon touch them oh God by the blood of Jesus hallelujah we pray Father for healing we pray Father for miraculous healing that cometh from you alone oh Lord hallelujah we pray Father for each and everyone na nandito po ngayon sa Zoom na nakakasama po namin we are thankful Father for each life po Panginoon na patuloy po Panginoon na dinadala mo po kami dito po sa aming pag-aaral we are thankful for Sir Eddie we are thankful for Ma Martina, Sir Loreto, Pastor Arthur, Sister Lenilin, Sister Pauline, Sister Dolores, Sister Evelyn, Sister Grace, Sister Imelda, Sister Lani, Sister Rizel, Pastor Amarite, Sister Ophelia, Sir Resti, and uh, Ro Ma'am Rosario, si, si Juliet Binalay, si Ma'am Sabina, Sister Marisa, at sa la kung meron ma pong hindi nabanggit po, Panginoon, we are thankful for each life po na nandito. You know us by name and you know our heart's desire, Lord. Continue, Father, to bless us. Whatever unspoken request we have, Lord, whatever that desire na meron po kami sa aming mga puso, ay patuloy po, Panginoon, na ingatan mo at pagpalain mo po kami, Panginoon. Bless that desire that we have, oh Lord. We are praying, Father, for... Uh, time and financial freedom that is ahead of us, O oh Lord. We are looking forward for the things that you can do, Lord. We are looking forward that greater things is yet to come in our life, O oh God. Wala po kaming magagawa kung wala ka, kaya patuloy po kami, po, Panginoon, na dumedepende po, Panginoon, sa magagawa mo sa buhay po namin. As we have learned tonight, O oh Lord, that we will keep on trusting in you, O oh Lord. We will keep to trust in you with all our hearts, O oh God. Hallelujah. And we just want to give you, Father, the highest praises. Pagpalain mo din po, Panginoon, ng pag-aaral po namin ngayong gabi sa Planet IX, O oh Lord, or any, or any uh, situation, anumang pagpapag-aralan po namin ngayong gabi, Panginoon. Whatever topics we have, Lord, we pray for your guidance, O oh Lord. We pray for strength of strength po, Panginoon, dahil na Ma kahit na pupuyat po kami ay patuloy po Panginoon na kayo nagbibigay ng kalakasan sa araw ng bukas. Yes, Lord, we are thankful, we are grateful for everything that you're doing and everything that you're gonna do in our life, Lord. We just want to give you the highest praises, O God. And in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we ask this all. Amen and amen. God bless po. Amen. Amen po. Amen. 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 God bless. Amen. 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 Amen.